Any audio that comes out of your PC's speakers can be in an audio MP3 file on your computer as if like you're the one who uploaded it. You'll just have anything that you could possibly hear out of your speakers as a customizable file in your computer. So if you, by the way, are doing audio from YouTube, the quickest, easiest, best way that will always be there is to copy the link for the YouTube video you want the audio from, go over to youtube.mp3.com, paste that shit, and download it from there. I got a buddy that works at WKQX Chicago, and they're like, we use uh, all this fancy equipment and all this cool stuff. We use YouTube to MP3 hundreds of times a day. It's Nobody's doing anything fancy with this stuff. It's the simplest solution. But if you want something that's a little bit faster than that, you want something that isn't from YouTube, so it could work for any sound that comes out of your computer, or you just want a small section and not the whole YouTube video completed, this is the video for you. We're going to go over and download another program. Here we go. So I'll be over here in my PC. First thing we do is download Audacity. Notice that I'm just going to Google and typing download Audacity because it'll be different every time probably. I've downloaded Audacity on a ton of computers over the past couple of years and it's been different like every single time. Just don't pay for anything. Don't put your email into anything. Audacity is free and it always will be. So check it out over there. And then once we have that program, we open it up and it looks like this. Here's the key to this whole thing. We have to actually download a separate program in Mac, but this is the only thing we have to download in PC. We have Audacity and we're straight. We go up to the top left corner and you might have MEE over here already selected, but what we want is this Windows uh, Wasapi or whatever. <laughs> and that will allow us to do what is in this next section over here. This little microphone input has microphone right here, which is natural. That's typical. You have your microphone as your microphone input. So there's a microphone in the computer and that's what you set. But the option for the microphone is speakers right here. So once we have our speakers as a microphone, that's basically doing this. We're taking our computer and we're saying output to our speakers. Then we're taking our audacity and saying use as a microphone what i'm talking into is speakers so we're having the audio device and the uh the output device and the input device as the exact same thing in audacity and then that will produce something like this we're going to go in select that and just start recording once we're recording it'll wait for audio to come in we go to chrome I'm going to make up, I queued up a YouTube video of my guy talking about uh, a Feb filter EQ. I love this dude. And then we play it for a couple seconds. However long you want. Go back into Audacity. And there we go. Now we have the audio for it. Notice that right here at the top, I'm kind of clipping a little bit. So I'll turn the audio down on the YouTube video just to make sure I'm all right there. Go back in. Start from the beginning with the playhead. Start from the beginning, record again, and play. Whatever sample you want, and then pause it. Have a good audio clip there. Once we're done with that, I'll delete the first one that I have. I gotta go into this little thing and delete it, I'm pretty sure. And then we go into file and export. And then once we export it, that's totally good. Export as a wave. That's a higher quality audio file. And then we put that shit straight back into Soundtrap. We have our sample of anything that we could want. We go into Audacity, download that stuff, put it back into Soundtrap, and you're all good. Before this video ends, I want to give a little thing right here that if you guys are sampling in Soundtrap, and you have something that's like rhythmic or you have patterns that you're trying to sample, if the audio you're trying to get is like a riff or a four second drum beat or something like that, it won't link to the tempo of your track in Soundtrap. This is coming from a guy who loves Soundtrap so much, it's impossible to get something rhythmic in Soundtrap. If you have something non-rhythmic where you would create the rhythm, like you have one drum hit or you have one bass note sampled or speech or something like that, that you're putting into any rhythm in your beat already, that is the good things that you could do sampling in Soundtrap. And it's very easy to do stuff like that. But if you have like a rhythm that you want to have, like a, like I said, a four second drum beat or, you know, like a 808 pattern or something like that. There's no way to do it in Soundtrap, and there is a way to do it for free with Audacity that a lot of people are using. Leave a comment down below if you want that to get 
uh, rhythmic samples available in Soundtrap, but just, you know, free, but through another place. I don't think there's too much of a demand for it right now, but leave it in the comments below if there is, because I'll totally make that video. And, you know, I'm small channel right now at the time of recording, and I get back to that. So if there's a demand for that, I'm totally going to make that video. So check that out if that's what you want. But for now, I have a free sample pack down below, by the way, if you're just doing those one shot, not non-rhythmic samples of drum hits and some bass sounds and things like that that's in the description it's 50 free samples i'm not trying to get anything out of you with it there's no signing up with your email or free trial bullshit any of that i'm just there's a bunch of audio files in a zip file that i put on google drive that you could download for free right now that's down there go check that out it'll always be for free and uh that'll get all the drum samples that you have right now before i go also um this series of soundtrack videos is part of one main video which is making a whole song in soundtrack where i use every single technique sampling recording vocals bass everything that i do go check that out right now and that's pretty much it guys um like i said leave a comment down below if i missed anything else also, uh, I get back to those like pretty easily because I'm small as well. So thank you guys for doing that stuff and I'll see you in the next one.